Mr. Minister, hello. We see each other quite often these days. So I, uh, I'm pleased to see you in person and to speak to you once again. It's hard to not talk about housing if we're talking about homelessness. Um, we're trying to house people in Canada. There is a CMHC study that you quoted uh, last Monday night at the committee when we were in the House saying that in Canada between now and 2030 we need to build 3.5 million units to improve access. So this is a date from June. This is a study from June 2022. In this year's budget, there were investment for housing, indigenous housing, housing in the north, but there was no new money to increase the housing offer in Canada. So I imagine that when you received this 3.5 million um, housing units required, that's huge. Do you have a plan to face this um, housing deficit? Do you think we're going to reach this between uh, now and 2030? If you'll allow me, I will respond to the question. The CMHC did produce a study saying that we needed um, 3.5 million housing units between now and 2030, extra housing units. We announced the Housing, Accelera housing Accelerator Fund to produce 100,000 um, units. This was announced under the National Housing Strategy. I'd also like to tell you that we have built over 118,000 new units and we've repaired 298,000. Now, I'd also like to say that 95% of the housing in Canada is uh, built by the private sector. So collectively, when we talk about this target, collectively, we need to build together. And this will include the three pillars of the government, including the private sector and uh, companies. So this 100,000, this is over 10 years, you're going to build 100,000 units, but we need 3.5 million. Mr. Chair, it's 100,000 for the Housing Accelerator Fund, which is a five to seven year period. One of the uh, CMHC economists said even in Quebec, we needed 1.1 million housing units that the private sector will build 500,000. And so one way or the next, the private sector is not going to do the whole job. They're not going to build all of it. We know that they're going to build. The private sector is building everywhere, but this doesn't help us with regards to affordability. Your programs are not solving the affordability crisis. In Quebec, the private sector is going to build 500,000, and now the governments, all levels of government, have to work together to build 600,000 housing units just in Quebec to solve this accessibility issue. Is this where we're headed? Is there an extra plan? Is there another approach somewhere to face this issue? Head on. Right now, Canada is building approximately 200 housing units a year. We know that this is not enough to fill the demand and to keep housing affordable. That is why the 2022 budget presents measures that will allow us to double, to double this number over the next decade. Over 14 billion in extra federal funding in order to create additional housing. How many, Mr. Minister? Sorry? How many units are going to build between now and 2030? You're going to double? How, how much is that? 3.5 million housing units in the next 10 years? The private sector and, and our efforts, it's uh, 3.5 million additional uh, homes. And just to add to what Ms. Nadine said, uh, the, the Housing Accelerator Fund, the 100,000 figure is just the immediate acceleration and the unlocking of that immediate. But the systems changes, the systems changes that the program will fund over five years is supposed to set Canada up for a doubling of the number of homes that we currently build. That's the plan. 
and the, the idea is that those systems changes will outlive the program. Double. So, the National Housing Council said that we built 115,000 since the beginning of the. So, you're, we need 3.5 million. The, the 150,000 is the, the affordable housing, not all the homes. I think that's what you're referring to, correct? <laughs> no, uh, but the fem No, not really, Mr. Minister. They're saying that we built 115,000 housing units, but for people having special needs or who are homeless, the, gra most major the majority of these units are not affordable. And uh, this has no impact. So right now, the National Council looking at the strategy is saying that we are not getting anywhere. Are you going to change things? The National Council said that, uh, for example, they acknowledged that the Rapid Housing Initiative was the most affordable program. They also acknowledged that although the National Housing Co-Investment Fund is building affordable housing, they said it should, be, it should go deeper than that. So they, they asked us to do more. They didn't say we're not doing anything. So let, let's be honest about this. Oui, et, et voilà, désolé, ça c'est tout. I'm sorry, that's all for now. Mr. Dejardin.